rolling through the bi-state this election day. First alert radar there on the left side of your screen showing the rain slowly but surely making its way out this afternoon. However, areas from the central west end you see in the top right to Shiloh, Illinois, bottom right seeing major flooding and road closures. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us today for First Alert 4 at noon. I'm Claire Kellett. Let's check in now with meteorologist Kent Earhart. I mean, we're not out of the woods yet with this in terms of the rainfall this afternoon. Wettest November day on record yesterday for St. Louis and almost as much rain so far today. This is going to be a two day total that's going to blow some minds because uh, it, it has been unbelievable rainfall across the area. And as Claire mentioned, a lot of roadways underwater, intersections and flooding across the area as the rain continues. Now, there is a band of pretty heavy rain here that extends from eastern Warren County into northwestern St. Charles County. That's right around the Wentzville, Lake St. Louis areas, and then on up into eastern Pike County and northern Calhoun in Illinois. Most of this is light rain and the back edge of it right back in here. Now, you could get a sprinkle or two this afternoon. But the back edge of the drier weather is beginning to enter the viewing area and extend to the east. And that's what we'll look for is for that rain to end from west to east. Just a close up on the metro area for those of you who are trying to get out and vote today or maybe have some errands to run. Still some light rain falling, still a lot of water on the roadways, but things are beginning to improve a little bit. But boy, the damage is done. This is a 48 hour Doppler radar estimate of where the heaviest rain is and anywhere in these pinks and purples is eight to 10 inches of rain and possibly more in some places. That's a two day total now. So it is very impressive. Flood warnings until 2 p.m. in parts of Franklin and Jefferson counties, as you can see here, and a flood warning still in effect in the uh, Rolla area for Phelps County until 1.30 this afternoon. 68 downtown, cloudy sky, still get a lot of rain reports from across the area. The rain will be ending from west to east at about 69 degrees to maybe 70. A cooler, drier night coming up tonight. So we start drying out this afternoon, but some flooding will certainly linger and some of the rivers haven't even crested yet in some locations. We'll talk more about that. The next rain chance isn't until this weekend. Now that's the good news, Claire. Well, that sound right there, the heavy rain likely woke some of you up overnight. Major rainfall overnight and into the morning, leaving dozens of streets covered in water. This morning, we had the interstates closed as well. Just a lot of traffic troubles for drivers. We are tracking flooding first this afternoon in our team coverage in South St. Louis County, including in Bayless. Our Justin Andrews out there talking all morning with folks. Justin, some of them saying, you know, their basements are flooded. Others having to be rescued in their cars. Yeah, Claire, I want to get to a bit of breaking news right now at this noon hour because we see a lot of St. Louis police cars and also emergency responders right here underneath 55 on Bayless. Again, this all broke out maybe 10, 15 minutes ago. We actually saw Melville and Maplewood fire crews bringing out boats out here. I will tell you this, Melville's boat did leave, so that could be a sign of good news. But again, we're still uncovering and figuring out exactly what's unfolding here. But our eyes have been right here at this intersection all morning right here at Bayless because yeah the water here has receded drastically earlier today we saw cars underneath water oh boy these waters were quite high and these same waters brought in water up to six feet in this basement here in Lee May this is Casey Cosney's basement at one point she thought someone was breaking into her home early this morning but she was really hearing the force of the water racing into her basement she tells us she just finished repairs from flooding we saw back in July and yikes talk about a one-two punch for her just more stress more stuff you have to go through mm -hmm. I don't have time for that but yeah obviously there's a plan for everything so I'll make it work and that's really all you can do sometimes, just make things work. Water blanketed Bayless this morning, right underneath Interstate 55. There were roughly half a dozen cars stuck in the rushing waters here. Crews had to use boats to save people after the swollen waters from Bravoy Creek caused nonstop rescues all over Lime for almost five hours, we're told. Rescue crews say they pulled 10 people to safety in these floodwaters. 
main issue now that we have is flooded basements, water endangering electrical inside homes. Uh, the crews are responding out of several calls um, with those kinds of situations right now. And again, we're going to continue monitoring this situation we're seeing unfold here on Bayless Avenue underneath 55 in Lime. Again, we're trying to uncover exactly what's mm -hmm. happening. It seems like there may have been some kind of rescue effort. But again, we've been making calls to authorities and also emergency responders to figure out exactly what's unfolding here. Claire, when we get that update, we'll certainly let you know on air and online. Back over to you. All right, our eyes everywhere. Justin, thank you. We do continue our live team coverage this afternoon with First Alert Force Dion Bronxton in Brentwood. And Dion, also there, we saw folks had to be rescued from their cars. Claire, right now we're on Brentwood Boulevard, just south of Pendleton. You can see the water has receded here by the metro station, but you can see we have first responders out here right now. I want to direct your attention to this railroad sign. You can see crews right there are trying to fix it because the flood floodwaters caused it to tip over and lean over into the street. But I want to show you some more video from overnight and earlier this morning. Take a look at your screen. This is video from Litzinger and Hanley here in the Brentwood area. We saw very high water in the area with, with level so high it nearly swallowed cars. Now over in Jefferson County, people had no idea overnight that flood waters were rising just outside of their mobile homes. Now this is at Belleville RV Park along Route 141. Residents had to race from their homes as waters were rising. Plenty of RVs had high waters all around and even cars tried to get out in time. People not only had to leave their own homes, but they obviously had to wait in the water to do so. I think there's a woman next to me that was crying. Mm -hmm. I looked out here and there was ambulance staff and they come and told us we had to evacuate because we were flooding. When I stepped out, the water was up to the bottom of our motorhome and covering the steps. And uh, naturally I got a feeling of dread. Just here we go again. Yeah. We will continue to travel around the St. Louis Metro today to look for more flood damage. Stay tuned at, on First Alert 4, 5, and 6 for those updates. Live in Brentwood, Dion Brox in First Alert 4. All right, Dion, thank you. All of you watching today, you play a big role in our weather coverage. We always ask for pictures to show what's going on in your area. This morning, many of you did that, sending pictures of flooding like this. Jordan Howard sending in pictures of the high water in Brentwood, relatively close to where we just saw Dion. Yeah, a lot of flooding in Brentwood there from Jordan. Jordan Howard. Take a look at a picture now. This is from Schiller's camera on Manchester Road, relatively close to the intersection with Brentwood Boulevard. Remember, when you see significant weather happening in your area, you can upload the photos to the First Alert 4 News and Weather apps or at firstalert4.com slash share.